information in the back of the book. Awesome. Now, we'll use that information to kind of go a little bit further, if you will. Calculating standard enthalpy change for a reaction. Standard enthalpy change for a reaction. This is going to be very useful for us. Now we can use all those heats of formations to solve problems without actually doing them in the lab and taking temperatures and etc, etc. The book goes through the whole derivation of this formula, but we're not going to do that. Um, if you want to check it out, go for it. So now the book gives us this formula, and this is a formula on our AP formula sheet. So you do not have to memorize it, but you definitely need to know how to use it. Now, real quickly, it is a giant formula. It freaks me out just a little bit, but let's kind of go through what each of these little things here mean. So delta H, we're talking about change right, in energy of a reaction, right, and this is at standard state, all right, that should be fairly simple. Now, as we move on, this is probably seen in your calculus class, and this means sum of, all right, in here, this N is moles of product, and so we're going to take delta H of formation. So this is where we use an appendix, right, to find these numbers. All right, these are just heats of formations. And so we're going to take our moles of our products times our heat of formation of the products and subtract that from the sum of the moles of the reactants times the heat of formation of the reactants. So... I like to simplify this down because I know what it's talking about and I just like to call this delta H is equal to products minus reactants. And the thing we need to remember here is we have to include the moles and we'll get to that right here. So let's check this out. We've got this reaction right here. We're going to use this formula using the standard enthalpies of formation. Determine delta H reaction for the reaction. There's our reaction. And we're looking for delta H not there. So the first thing that we have to do is we have to find our enthalpies of formation of this. And we're just checking it out in the back of the book or in the appendix, so this is NH3 gas, and in the back of the book, NH3 is negative 45.9 kilojoules. Please make sure you're getting gas there, because the state symbols are important. Now, you could look up this next one, or you wouldn't have to, but we've got O2, and O2, a gas in its natural state, will be zero. I've seen on the AP test where they don't give it to you, and I've had some kids freak out. So remember... Elements in their standard state will not have a heat of formation. All right, looking at the next substance in that reaction, we've got NO gas, nitrogen monoxide. Nitrogen monoxide in the back of the book or in the appendix is 91.3, a positive 91.3 kilojoules. And last but not least, we've got water. And this is the one that you want to be really careful of. Make sure you're looking up the gas not the liquid, because the liquid's going to be there as well. And the gas is going to be equal to negative 241.8. And obviously, it takes different amounts of energy to form a gas, a gas over a solid. All right, so let's check this out. So now we're just going to set it up, products minus reactants. And what I like to do when I write this out, I write it out in this manner, although you can write it out however you like. So I take delta H, and remember it's products minus reactants, so I'm going to take 4 times whatever NO is, plus 6 times whatever H2O is, bracket, minus 4, well, bracket, 4 times the NH3, plus 5 times O2. And yes, you could leave that O2 out if you wanted, but I'm just showing it there so everybody can see kind of where we're at. So now we just start plugging it in and solve these babies out. So we've got four times 
91.3 plus 6 times negative 241.8 minus 4 times negative 45.9 and then we've got plus 5 times 0 again we would not have to include it I'm just showing it there so everybody can see how we're working all right so when we multiply this out 4 times 91.3 is 365.2 and we're going to add 6 times negative 241.8 gives us negative 14 50.8 and then we're going to take away 4 times that and we've already done that calculation so no need to write it down again we get negative 183.6 so I'm going to let you absorb that for just a couple of seconds and then we're going to add those babies up so I'll let you get caught up if you need to All right, when we add those babies up, we get negative 902, if I could write, negative 902.0 kilojoules. And that is our delta H of formation or of reaction of that reaction up above at standard state. And so now we have it. And that's a pretty easy formula. There are quite a few questions like this on the AP exam. So be prepared to be able to solve this. They would give you a table with this information on it. And so you could solve. The other things that you could be doing is you could be given. Sometimes they'll give you delta H. And maybe you have to find like an unknown. Maybe this wasn't known and you were supposed to find an O. So there's a lot of different ways that they can throw this problem at you.